Hi, I'm Luann Aiken with Tagawa Gardens in Centennial, Colorado, and today we are on a bit of a field trip to check out something we're seeing in the landscapes all along Colorado's Front Range that could be a real problem for homeowners. So I have brought with me Mike Landers. He is Tagawa's tree expert, one of several, but he, he's excellent at diagnosing some of the problems we're seeing. And the problems we're seeing, Mike, have a lot to do with some pretty severe weather temp changes that we saw last November. Yeah. Yeah, we had, I think, uh, what's the, the warmest uh, October on record, uh, even as late as, I think, October 24th, it was 81 degrees, which is crazy warm. And then I think uh, November 6th, it went from a roughly 60 degrees to that same night went down to, I think, 16 degrees. So uh, enormous drop in temperature. Because of those unseasonably warm temperatures, trees and shrubs hadn't gone dormant. Their needles and leaves were still full of moisture when the deep freeze hit. This is very typical of what we're seeing along the front range, sort of uh, the tips of the needles, uh, pretty brown, as you can see, but then as you get closer to the stem, uh, closer to the fascicle here and the candle. That's where the needle attaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, it's, it's pretty green. It's kind of a healthy green. So uh, again, very typical of what we're seeing. The south and southwest sides of conifers are often showing the most severe damage. But deciduous trees and shrubs, the ones with leaves, have taken hits too. The leaves were basically frozen into place on that, on that cold November day. Um, so yeah, again, it's kind of a wait and see, even though the tree, especially crab apples, apples, ornamental pears, uh, elms, little oh boy, they may look horrible right now. I would definitely wait and see, see what survives, see what dies. Mike has some tips on how homeowners can do a little diagnosis of their own. If you could break open this year's buds, you could also scratch the, the branch here. If you're getting a good green color on the inside of the tree, that's a, that's a great sign. That means that branch is probably going to survive. So. And if they are limber, that is, uh, if the tips are yep, limber, that's yep, a good sign that's too? That's another good sign, yeah. If, if this branch were struggling or were going to die, it would probably be uh, brittle and we would probably just break it off at this point. But as you can see, this is very limber, uh, relatively healthy branch, yeah. Mike's best advice for now, be patient. Certainly you don't want to come in with pruners and start shearing the tree or pruning. I would wait till even summertime to see what survives, see what dies. At that point, if there's dead branches, you could come in and prune them out. It's kind of a wait and see thing. You want that tree, kind of help it out of its uh, whatever's stressing it, maybe with just regular watering. And then once you get it relatively healthy, bring it out of its stress, at that point you could fertilize and give it a little boost. If you start to fertilize a tree that's already uh, stress, whether it be to a lack of water or heat or chemical burn, whatever, if you start adding fertilizer, that can actually make it worse. Mike thinks that overall, the trees that were healthy going into the fall freeze will survive the damage we're seeing now. There's a lot of hope there. I'm, I'm kind of optimistic, um, and it's kind of, even in this situation, it's, it's still kind of a wait and see, see what the tree does. And of course, Tagawa Gardens is always here to help. Take a picture, a few pictures, bring it in to Mike and our other tree experts at Tagawa's and they will help you diagnose the problem. Hold your hand a little bit if that's what it's called for. We would love to see you at Tagawa's. It is your garden store and so much more. If you like this video, feel free to share it with a friend and come see us at TagawaGardens.com for more videos like this. You'll also find us on Facebook and Twitter.